Okay, a little more trading again. G minor pentatonic. Triplets grouped in four. I'll give that to you again. It's a lot easier in three. Now for the super advanced part, we're going to use G melodic minor on the um, on the one chord, and then we can use C melodic minor if we want on the C minor chord. We can use B flat melodic minor on the E flat seven, and we can use E flat melodic minor on the D seven. Now there's a lot more that can be added to this progression just using melodic minor. So I'm going to let you hear what it might sound like eventually, as opposed to what we were just doing, which was just G G. Um, minor pentatonic which is fine right especially if you're using the notes only the if you're like what's the word if you're like choosing carefully and selecting the notes from the g minor pentatonic scale that work for each chord which is a whole different thing than just kind of whatever but anyway um, i'm going to show you what it, what it might sound like if i use this melodic minor stuff <laughs> Thank you. 
notice that I was trying to put those those triplets in there too. But I don't expect you to understand it, but probably you can hear it like, oh yeah, that sounds like modern jazz, right? <laughs> That's melodic minor. That's all voice-led melodic minor scales. So when I was like, I don't know, 33 and 34, pretty much all I did for those two years was just what I just showed you. All I did was voice lead melodic minor scales for those two years between age 33 and 34. And obviously I've still been working on it since then. But like, it was about two years that I just gave to just this one sound. Cause like, I really want to get melodic minor. So it took me about two years. <clears throat> Anytime that I worked on internalizing stuff, I was just working on melodic minors, the exercises I already showed you. And it started with just exercise one, which is just one scale. <laughs> and then I would do the uh, that scale in another key. And I did that for like, you know, 12-ish keys, but probably not really. But it took me probably 10 years before I really felt strong in all 12 keys playing melodic minors. <clears throat> I mean, to where, to, to where my knowledge of the scale was as strong as my technique. Let's put it that way. Because I could always play fast in major scales, but I couldn't play fast in melodic minor scales. So obviously my technique was better than my knowledge, right? <clears throat> and being able to do the thirds like I just showed and all that stuff. It was a lot of practice and it was just a commitment to this one thing. So um, you can try to use these scales a little bit if you want, but obviously it's hard. Like it takes time to be able to voice lead those scales. But I just wanted you to see that, that that's kind of another tool that's at your disposal. And there's a handful of these. There's a handful of these. Um, these kind of like um, harmonic vocabulary tools that people in jazz use. The, the melodic minor scale is one, the diminished scale is one, the bebop scale is one, pentatonics is another. And uh, those are the main ones, really. It's not, there's not that many. It's just that each one of them is so deep that it takes a long time. And if you've had experience in this class just trying to like learn major scales and realizing what that actually entails and or trying to learn pentatonics and realizing what that actually entails, then hopefully you can appreciate what I'm saying. And it's not that much different. Um, so I'm going to give you this, uh, this, uh, this uh, minor blues just so you can mess around with it for a couple minutes. All right, here we go. G minor minor blues. A one, two, ready, go. Please mute yourself. 